Let's write the atomic orbital diagram for argon. And the first thing we need to do, we need to write the electron configuration for argon. Argon is right here on the periodic table. So we'll follow this pattern here to write the electron configuration. We'll start, we have 1s1, 1s2. Then we go to the second energy level. We have 2s1, 2s2. We go over to the 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. p holds up to 6. Third energy level, 3s2. And then in the p again, 3p, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 3p6. You'll notice if we add any more electrons, we're in a new energy level. So this argon right here, this third energy level has eight, that's full, and that makes argon a noble gas. So now that we have the electron configuration, let's write the atomic orbital diagram for argon. So this is the atomic orbital diagram for argon. And both of these things, we're just trying to show where the electrons are in relationship to the nucleus of the argon atom. You can think of it as right here in these energy levels or shells around the nucleus. So let's start out, we have 1s2, we put them in opposite directions, 2s2, these two electrons, opposite directions, 2p6, we spread them out and then we pair them up, 3s2, and then 3p6. And you can see that our third energy level here is full. If we add any more electrons, we're going to go up to the fourth energy level. That's why we say argon is a noble gas. So this is the atomic orbital diagram for argon. Sometimes you'll see it written like this here. It's the same thing. It's just written in a horizontal fashion. This is Dr. B with the atomic orbital diagram for argon, AR. Thanks for watching.